and welcome to our video of sorting data. In this video, I'm going to show you a number of ways you can access our sort functions. The first thing I'm going to sort is my invoiced column for the highest value to appear at the top of the list. So one of these methods I could do my sort is by clicking on the header and clicking on sort. And another one would be by clicking on the headings in the column menu. Now that I have performed my sort function, my report is sorted. Another way would be through the table formatting menu on the top. However, I would do this for more advanced sorting functions which would provide me a number of levels to my sort. Now I click on table sort which I can find at the bottom and you can see that I've already applied a sort function to my invoice to mount and have sorted it in a descending order. Now I'm going to apply another sort function and this time I'm going to choose Athlete Counter and I'm just going to leave it in ascending. And I can continue to add more sort elements if I wish to. The final method would be through the custom sort. These options can be activated with the help of OGREF codes. Example, in a month of the year, if I want to sort my month in an ascending order, it's going to sort itself in an alphabetical order. Rather, I want to sort my month from January to December. In order to do this, I will click on Format and in the Formats option here, instead of text, I select Reference Code or Ogref Code. Now, I've already set this reference code before. So in order to set reference codes or Ogref Codes, you could watch our Ogref Code video. And in the reference type, I go and select month. And in sorting, I sort it by the sort index instead of sorting it alphabetically. So once I close it, my month has been sorted from January to December. For more helpful tips, please watch our other videos.